is this thing on? Hello, you're watching Exo Photography with me, uh, Daniel. Have you ever wondered why uh, some equipment are so expensive for uh, observatories? Uh, probably because it's low series, uh, production series. I have a huge interest in making my own stuff, so hey, why not take a closer look to one of the uh, items I have made myself. In a recent update, I showed you um, how I sent my telescope uh, back to telescope service to find what uh, what seems to be wrong uh, on my astrograph. Meanwhile, uh, the mount is sitting empty. It's looking kind of sad. Um, <laughs> but um, in this video, uh, I was thinking we uh, would talk about uh, one of the items I made myself. It's a Arduino-based. Um, star brightness meter or uh, sky quality meters. This is the item uh, we're going to take a closer look uh, at today. Um, I have made a simple uh, 3D printed mount here. Um, this is basically a aluminium box with a light, uh, it's kind of a LED, uh, but instead of uh, putting out light, it's sensing light. A simple display uh, push button and the USB connector for the Arduino board inside. So it just sits here like this and I can uh, take a reading of the sky quality uh, anytime just pressing this button. So let's take a close look at uh, how it looks and how it works. Okay so what you need to build your own sky quality meter um, it's actually a Arduino. Uh, you can use one of these, the Arduino Nano. Um, uh, they are uh, quite, uh, um, quite good, small size, um, can handle a bit of calculations. You also need a uh, some kind of display uh, to output your uh, value. Um, you need a momentary push button uh, and you also need a 20 degree lens to collect the light. Um, the original uh, product is using a 20 degree lens um, I think so I used one on mine as well. But the business end here is the light sensor and it's actually this one it looks like a diode but it is a, a light to frequency sensor so it registers light and outputs a frequency so let's fire this one up um, it only needs power um, from a power bank or whatever if I <laughs> if I take a reading now, it will be very very fast, and it's uh, indicating a magnitude per arc second squared, which is 6.68 in this light. However, if I cover the front end and take another reading, you will see 14.8. I will try to cover it even better and take another reading. As you can see. Um, it's very easy to operate and it gives a uh, very near uh, the calibrated product. I have actually used um, an app in the phone which is called uh, Dark Sky Meter. And this is uh, getting very close readings to um, this app which is supposed to be very good and very close to the original product. The total cost for this project is uh, 
somewhere around uh, 50 bucks um, compared to uh, about 200 bucks for the the original uh, meter but for me it's it's about the build uh, I really enjoy uh, building things on my own and coding. Let's take a, a closer look at um, uh, the code. So this is the sensor uh, which is in use. Uh, it is a TSL 237. Um, actually this is quite old now so um, there is better faster sensors out there. Uh, but the code that I has written um, is written for this one. So if you use some kind of um, other sensor, um, you might need to adjust the code and uh, calibrate the code um, against a a proper sky quality meter or something. But this is the one um, I am using. Um, they can be bought. Um, they are not easily found, but they can be bought still. Uh, the price is, well, it's under four pounds, so um, it isn't any expensive at all. Let's head over to uh, the code. This is how it looks. So let's start from the top up. Uh, it's quite an easy code to compile. Um, it is uh, using the library frequency measure. Uh, it's using the math library and the liquid crystal for the LCD screen. So um, this constant here is the one you are going to need to adjust to calibrate the uh, the whole thingy. My momentary button is connected to input A2, analog 2. Um, and the LCD display is connected to pin uh, 2, 3, 4, 5, 12 and 13. Um, the serial is set to 9600. Um, so the loop is starting with clearing the display. It's printing exo photography. Um, you can change this to anything you like basically. Um, you can also change this one, the SQM meter, if you like to. Uh, then it's clearing the display. Uh, but really, this is the interesting part. So uh, if it senses the button has been pushed, it is uh, taking a reading uh, and is measuring the frequency. It's saying on the LCD that is taking a measurement and this and this much uh, has been read already. Um, we are taking 31 measurements and um, displaying a mean value of that one. But they actually math behind this and here is uh, a formula that I gotten some help with. Um, this wasn't so easy to come up with but it's a logarithmic scale, so um, the value is uh, because of the sensor is putting out a frequency. The frequency has to be uh, changed to uh, the value we want to uh, display in magnitudes per arc second squares. Uh, here is uh, the actual math behind it when it's calculated the. Uh, proper value it is displaying that value on the um, LCD display and also uh, you can take a reading uh, while you have it connected to uh, to the computer this is basically it um, if you want to use my code and develop it further, maybe you, you guys out there are super good at making a Windows application. Uh, why not make one that takes a measurement once every 10 minutes or something? Um, if you do, feel free to comment. If you have any questions, just type them below. I'll try to answer them. So, I hope I inspired someone to make a... Uh, own sky quality meter um, feel free to uh, 
post your image or, or something on a um, on kind of forum uh, and send a link or something uh, I really want to see your builds thank you for watching um, if you like my videos please uh, hit like and subscribe to my channel um, if you would like to see anything just uh, post a comment or something so um, take care everyone bye